Hi all, this screencast is for administrators who are getting ready to um, administer their school-based Tell Them For Me surveys. Um, at this point, I'm assuming that you have received uh, the invite from the Tell, Tell Them For Me survey or already have an account uh, on the system, um, and you have logged in. And this is what you should see as a uh, welcoming screen or a start screen from Tell Them For Me. Um, on this screen, there's a couple of uh, important pieces. Um, there's a survey setup um, menu, and as you can see, there's multiple choices within that, and that is where we're going to spend most of our time uh, today. Um, monitor progress, that's a place where you can go and you can see how your students are doing and which classes have and have not uh, um, competed or completed the survey. Uh, view reports, and this is where you get to go and uh, print any reports that uh, you've generated. For example, if I want to look at the last uh, three years of data and see how we've changed over the last three years, I can do that there. And lastly, under access resources, um, there are a number of resources available um, to uh, to help you with the survey, including uh, tutorials, including help files, etc. So, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the survey setup, and all I do is just under survey setup, I just click on this link. So, and that takes us to a screen that looks like this. Um, as you can see, I'm doing the administration for the colony schools. Um, you'll see your school name listed here, and you have a choice of two different surveys. The Tell Them For Me Elementary School Survey, which is intended for your K-6 to students, and the Alberta Tell Them For Me Project Survey, which is intended for everyone else, so that's 7 through 12. Um, if, uh, if you have a school that has multiple levels, you're actually able to do this process more than once. Um, it's, uh, if you have a, a, a purely elementary school, you'll choose the top one. If you have a purely uh, junior high high school, you click the bottom one. And if you have both, um, you choose just whichever one you want to do first. So I'm going to do the elementary one first. So I click on that, and it gives me a choice of uh, how I want this to uh, work. I have a choice between snapshot or classroom selection. Snapshot is the one that we're going to actually use because that's the one that uh, collects data twice per year from everybody um, as opposed to the classroom selection which takes data once per month from just a handful of students. So I'm going to go ahead and click uh, Snapshot and I'll scroll to the bottom and just off to the side here is a button that says Next so I'm going to just press that. Um, now it takes me to the schedule and it just gives me some information in terms of when I should be uh, um, doing this work. Um, and so I'm just going to read that and press next. Um, then it's going to say, okay, the, the surveys create a number of questions, but would I like to add my own open-ended questions? Um, I have the option to add up to two different open-ended questions. So, for example, I might want the students to respond in text to a question around um, a particular program that we're offering or a particular um, way that we're um, providing um, interventions, etc. And so I just write my question there and it will be given to the students uh, when the survey is delivered. Um, in this case, I'm not going to ask additional questions. I'm just going to go next. And it's going to take me to the next tab, which is for multiple choice questions. So if you have some questions that are school-based that you would like to, um, to ask, these can include anything from a Likert, so from strongly agree to strongly disagree, um, or to a number of choices. So if we were to offer programming next year, which of these would you prefer? Um, pretty much anything that you can use a multiple choice uh, question for and literally it's just a matter of going down and giving the question title um, whether or not students can choose more than one or not um, what the question text is and what the uh, responses are um, this column here um, so let's say this is um, response option one might be
underwater basket weaving, my label would be what shows up on the report itself. I might just choose UWBW, and that's just shortened for the purpose of uh, making it easy to read. If I scroll down, you see that I have multiple questions that I can add. Um, and if there isn't enough, I can just click this Add More button, and it will just give me another box to, uh, to fill in. Um, now, because I don't actually want to uh, give that particular choice, I'm going to just go ahead and leave that blank. And again, I'm going to press Next. Now it's going to say, uh, who would I like to give this survey to? So the colony schools that uh, I'm administering here is um, a uh, 3 to 8 school. So for the elementaries, it's only going to be 3, 4, 5, 6. So I'm just going to go ahead and check those guys off. Um, or sorry, correction, that's a K to 8 school, but we don't give the uh, survey to uh, younger than 3. And then just the number of random accounts, which for this survey, I just need to go into the uh, Maplewood and find out how many, uh, how many students I have in those grade levels. And then I just tell the system to generate that number of, uh, of logins. So I know that's not right, but I'm just going to select it anyway for the purpose of demonstrating. And I'll press Next. Now it comes up and it says, um, do I want to activate, save, or delete the uh, survey setup? Um, so if I scroll down, I've got uh, just an outline of my survey details. So it's going to be the elementary school survey going to my grade 3, 4, 5, and 6s. Um, there's up to 90 students will take the survey. I'd like this to be the snapshot format. Um, for the um, uh, open-ended questions, it'll list them here. For the multiple choice questions, it'll list them here. And at this point, I can either press activate, which will uh, give me a list of passwords that uh, I can print and hand to my students individually. Um, or uh, save, which means that I'm not done, I'd like to uh, keep working on this survey, or um, delete, which means that I don't actually want to deliver this survey at all. Uh, for this purpose, because I'm going to go back to this, I'm going to press save. And at this point you can see I have my Tell Them For Me school survey listed here uh, for the elementaries. And so th for this particular school, I need to go from 7 to 8 still, and so I'm just going to add another survey. This time it's going to be the project survey, which is the older group. I'm going to select snapshot again, and I'm just going to simply go through the same process again. Uh, this time when I get to the uh, uh, survey takers tab, I'm just going to choose um, the older kids. And that's really all there is to it. Um, when you're completely finished, you can click the Activate button. As I said, it will give you a list of uh, passwords and logins that you can um, um, give to your students, as well as instructions for the students to actually take the survey. Um, as always, if you have any questions about this, please do not hesitate to ask me. Um, and um, hopefully this, uh, this gets you started.